Hello, and welcome to the Jerry Mugger Broadcasting Channel. My name is Douglas Gerald, and today I have a story from an American reader who likes to write about Japan. The title of today's story is Sweet Memories. Many Japanese adults have great memories of old-fashioned sweet shops called Dagashia. The sweets sold there are unusual and use simple ingredients such as millet and brown sugar. These are different than the Japanese sweets known as wagashi used in tea ceremony. The number of dagashia was 228,123 in the year 1972. However, the number shrunk to 74,304 in 2016. The candy at Dagashia is inexpensive and varied, which gives kids a sense of choice about how to spend their limited pocket money. Although Dagashi can be found at convenience stores today, some people say these sweets are not as good. The oldest dagashia in Japan is Kamikawaguchiya, which was established in 1781. Many Japanese adults have great memories of old-fashioned sweet shops called dagashia. The sweets sold there are unusual and use simple ingredients such as millet and brown sugar. These are different than the Japanese sweets known as wagashi used in tea ceremony. The number of dagashia was 228,123 in the year 1972. However, the number shrunk to 74,304 in 2016. The candy at dagashia is inexpensive and varied, which gives kids a sense of choice about how to spend their limited pocket money. Although dagashi can be found at convenience stores today, some people say these sweets are not as good. The oldest dagashia in Japan is Kamikawaguchiya, which was established in 1781. Thank you for watching today's video. If you want to read the story, please go to the Jarimaga website. There's a link in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a little red button in the bottom right corner. That's all for now. See you the next time. Goodbye.